Welcome back to our off-grid cabin build here on our homestead in North Idaho. Look what we're going to be installing today. The vanity for the bathroom. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Yeah, let's do it. So we've had this thing now for, what do you think, a couple months probably? I don't know. It feels like it's just been a ornament in the living room for a while. <laughs> It took a lot longer to get the bathroom done than I thought it would event uh, initially, but it's a 36 inch vanity here. More cardboard. Wow. Hey, there's the sink. Yeah. Cool, man. Okay, ready? Why should I set it? Uh, maybe floor? across. Yeah, on the floor, probably fine. Here's the uh, vanity, which I is cool. I think it's gonna be easier if we like open the box up. Yeah, maybe we cut down these corners right here. Okay, cover them up again. Yep. Ooh, fancy. Cool. I wonder yeah, if it, we need this side, huh? Yeah. I wonder if it came with the hardware. See, it's got a hole here for it. I don't remember seeing it came with it. Hmm. I don't see any. Might be underneath it possibly. I don't know. Or we might just not have any hardware. Bam, just sitting in here for right now. But that's basically where it's gonna go. We'll have to, of course, put the sink on it and see exactly how far away from the walls this needs to go. And then we'll have to drill holes in it for the plumbing, which hopefully will not be in the way of that drawer. I wonder how far over the uh, cap, the countertop actually stays, because it won't go flush with the wall, will it? I don't know. We've got to find out. Does it overhang a little bit? Mm, I don't uh, think it does on the back. I think it's meant to go flush. But the side does, yeah. That's what I think anyway. Like that. I wonder how you're supposed to attach it to it. <laughs> I'll go get the instructions. Probably. Yeah. Let's just take a look here really quick at what's on the back. Huh. There's like nowhere to attach it. There's no like lip to hook it to or nothing. Marty's got a master plan. Yeah, so <laughs> we need to see where the valves are going to come through so we can drill the holes. Some people have said different things to find out like where boxes are in the back of sheetrock. Like lipstick was one of them. Mm -hmm. I know, that's lipstick. a really good idea. Yeah, but we don't have any lipstick, do we? No. <laughs> so I got an idea here with wet paper towels. Come on. All right, so these are our valves that we need to drill holes in because this has a solid back. So I'm just gonna put this on there. And this one here's probably, I don't think this one will work yet. We'll have to get the other ones drilled first, probably. Like that, okay? Then, we'll just push this back up against them. Right up against them? Um. Hard to sell. We got wet spots, look at that. Oh, yeah. Bam and bam. I was trying to figure out how you get these drawers out of here. Let me show you how it works. Right down here, you've got these black things. And so you, you're gonna squish that up in there flat. Hmm. And there's one on each side. They go in opposite directions. One goes up, one goes down. Hmm. And then when you push those, you can wiggle it out of there. So what it does right here, this is the hook right there. That's the hook that hooks it in there. So when you squeeze that, it moves the hook out of the way so you can slide it out. Just put some tape on here to keep the door from opening when I tilt it forward. All right. Shine a light here. Yep, it 
goes right on that valve. Right on that valve. Then we'll drill some holes for them. Using this one right here from this side so that we don't tear it all up, hopefully. I'm gonna pull this guy out so we don't mess up the valves. That that hole saw yeah. reminded me of a, of a video that we were gonna think about doing. What's that? Our favorite and our least favorite tools that we've used on this on yeah. this house build. One of my least favorite tools <laughs> for drilling through two by fours. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse just so that the teeth are going backwards and hopefully it won't uh, make a big mess. There we go. All right, reverse. Pretty clean. So go forward just to get the drill bit in. Reverse. Now we need our wet paper towel, which is already down there, for the drain. There we go. Okay, now we'll do the same thing, but we're gonna need a bigger hole saw. Yeah, that'll probably be good. But if we're off a little bit, and it might not fit so well, so we'll go, we'll go bigger. What did you say? <laughs> Flexible. Is that what you said? Say it again. Flexi. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with that one. That is not what I said. We're gonna go with this size. Alright. This is three inch. This is why we drilled from the inside. Did you see how that broke out like that? Yeah. And this one broke out like that. And this one broke out like that. That way the Inside's still pretty. Huh? Yeah, the inside's still pretty. The outside is the ugly part. Mm -hmm. That hole's too high. It's wide enough, it's just too low. That's a bummer. I wanted it to look perfect. <laughs> It'll just look like a little snowman. Right. What just happened, Marty? <laughs> well, so we see, we just fit this thing in here. We drilled this extra hole to get the space we need for this. And then, but like these are kind of touching. I thought, man, I wonder, I wonder if those could open or not. <laughs> so I opened it. And water sprayed all over. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try to get this screw into the stud in the corner over there. Take off a half an inch. So we're looking at 32 inches. Got our sink. Let's just set it up here. Let's see how it looks. Beautiful. Cool, huh? Yeah. I think that'll work. We're gonna have a complete bathroom soon. <laughs> yeah, and then what I'm thinking for the for the um, backsplash is to use this same trim. So it'll kind of go on there. You can't really see; it's too long. But <laughs> that same trim around the sink that's going to go around the door and around the floor and around the tub behind you there. So yeah, this will go. so it'll go wet right here. Yeah, like this. this. Oh, yeah. Just like that. That'll be a nice finish to it. Yeah. We're cool. going to varnish it, right? Yeah. Let's go ahead and open up our uh, faucet here. We just want to see how things are all going to fit together before we actually mount the sink on here. Yeah. There we go. All right, instructions. Here's our main faucet. Oh, that's cool looking. This is heavy. <laughs> huh. Wow. Whoa, look at that, man. There's a lot of stuff in here. Huh. Huh. Who knew it took so much for a kitchen for a bathroom sink? This is like 
more complicated than the kitchen sink. We might have to read the directions on this one. Don't tell anybody though, okay? You think it would be easier to mount all the stuff on here with the before we glue it down, like mount it all on there, then glue it down? I feel like it would be better to to glue the sink first. And then we got to go underneath and try to do everything. Mm, what are you gonna? You mean like take it out? Yeah. Take it off. Well, just like tip it up. Hmm. That was one thing that people said about in our installing our kitchen sink. Mm. Is that we should have put the faucet on first hmm. and then put the sink in because that way you didn't have to lay on your back and. Well, I might as well try it. People think it's a good idea. Give it a try. There's a lot of parts. Yeah, well, let's do that. Then you'll have something to compare it to. <laughs> it says the hot valve with red rings should be positioned to the left side of the spout. Okay. So if the sink was turned this way, it would be this one right here. Okay, so we put it through like this, correct? That's the right. Is it? It's got to be, it'll be turned around. That would be the right. It's the right? Okay. Alright, hot's on the left. Now what? Cold goes on the right? Yeah. Which way does this little flat spot go? It says location of flats may vary. Mm -hmm. Position valve arrow to point to sink. This ensures handle will be aligned. Okay. That's, that's all step three. Yeah. Okay. Use nut with threads up for decks up to two inch thick. It says before tightening position valve so arrow points to sink. All right, what else we got? Now we put the handles on. Okay, we'll put the handles on later. Okay. Let's do the rest of the, let's do the bottom stuff here. Oh yeah, Look there it that. is. We got, we got four holes right there. Oh yeah. Four bumps right there. Perfect. So this guy then goes in here. Like that, eh? Alright, so then you got this thing here, which is probably, yeah. Click, click. That's what it says. <laughs> so click white to white. Connect, connect, connections are secure by pulling down on the tubes while avoiding buttons. They should not come off the spot connector. Okay. Blue goes to blue. Red goes to red. Okay, beautiful. So, these guys right here have screens in them. Mm. So, if you get a problem, you may have to clean these screens out. Mm. Huh? Wow, that's pretty. They're not marked hot or cold, so you just have to remember which one. And hopefully all the little kids that come into your house know what is hot and cold because they're not marked. It's good. So it says to disassemble pop-up. Okay. Hold on, we got parts here. We got this flat gasket, we got this triangle gasket, and we got this nut. The rubbery gasket goes... The flat one? They're both rubbery. Oh, they're both rubbery. I'm thinking that it goes like this. Yep. You confirm it. That's right. Okay. Okay, then this one goes this way. Yep. Okay, so after we partially thread it, then what? Okay, then it says to connect to drain. Oh, it's partially threaded? Mm -hmm. What? And then firmly hand tighten the nut. Okay. Oh, we use this on the windows, huh? Uh huh. And for the sink, when we install the kitchen sink. So now we're gonna put the tub on. Not a tub. I mean the, uh, <gasps> the sink. This <laughs> quote's got a handle now. <laughs> you can see that the wall is a little tiny bit out of square. 
right there. But that's what they make trim for. <laughs> Put that backsplash on there and you won't even see it. Lego time? Well, <clears throat> we might have a problem. Oh no. Yeah. Problem could be that this is a two inch connection here and the vanity I think is inch and a quarter. Hmm. So, so the question is then with this piece, which is like an extra one for some reason, but that ain't really gonna help, I don't think. It doesn't want to do anything. So I have to see here what we can do. And it's not bad. <laughs> All right, so we got all these parts here. All right, so P-trap stuff. All right, so that's gonna go up there like that. That's gonna connect into there like that. Yeah. Ooh, man. See, but that is way too big. Hmm. It does so, smell really bad. Yeah, so what was the solution? Seems like I got a solution already. Someone, I remember. I don't know what it was. Uh, so, see, this is the size that fits in there. So we've got a. Uh, this is the size right here, though. That one goes up there like that, and this one needs to screw onto there. So we need to neck it down to fit that size right here. So while we're thinking about how we're going to fix that, let's go ahead and hook up these hoses. These are the ones that we just took off of the old um, laundry room sink. And so we'll just hook them up in here. They're pretty long, huh? Yeah. <laughs> But they'll work. Another one hooks up here. This is why plumbers get paid the big bucks. <laughs> they do uncomfortable jobs, huh? Yeah. Jobs nobody else really wants to do. Yeah. That one seems like it's really going to be in the way of the drawers. It's got two O rings, actually. Are you curious? What is it? What is it? Uh, okay. So now we gotta figure out how to fix that drain. I'm gonna go see what parts we have out in the shed. I'm gonna see if we can do it today. Hardware for the cabinets. Oh, they go. Beautiful, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, they match the... Cool. Right. Match the faucet really well. Yeah. Cool. Well, this one, I didn't actually drill. Hmm. Looks like there's the hole for it, but they didn't drill it out. This way? I think it goes that way. What do you think? Go that way. Um. <laughs> what do you, which way do you like better? Which way do I like better? Yeah. Hmm. Seems more symmetrical that way, but kind of makes sense like that. Yeah. I bet. Hey, let's go look at the box. Okay. <laughs> I will know for sure. Hey, you're right. Just like you have it. There you go. It's right there, man. It doesn't work yet, though, unfortunately. We've still got to get an adapter for the drain. And we don't want to go all the way to town this afternoon. We've got company coming over here in a little bit. So we're not gonna finish that today, but check this out. Let me jump in here with a quick update. To get it to work, we had to get a reducer right here because this was actually one and a half inch. We had to reduce it down to one and a quarter for the drain for the vanity. And then um, up here, this is actually not in the way at all of the drawer. The drawer works perfectly fine. The tub, man, 
Jules cleaned it up. We got the stickers off of it finally. You're wondering how you get stickers off of these things? WD-40 works pretty good. So we used WD-40, got it off of there, and uh, man, the bathroom is coming along so good. If you want to see what else is going on here on our homestead, there's a video right over there that you'd probably like to check out. Otherwise, I hope you have a really great day. Keep smiling, and I'll see you over in that video in just a second.